Hi, I'm Art Fireman, editor of Projector Reviews and Smarter Home Automation. This is our longer of two videos based on our full online review of Epson's Home Cinema 1440. In this video, I'll open with a quick overview and perspective on the concept of bright room projectors, and then we'll get into the specific capabilities and strengths of the Epson Home Cinema 1440. First, the basics. The Home Cinema 1440 is one of a new breed of home entertainment projectors that nicely fit the description of bright room projectors. The HC1440 is the most powerful bright room projector in Epson's home cinema series, although they offer brighter ones in their pro cinema series for a good deal more money. The HC1440 is a $1699 list price 3 LCD projector. It is aggressively priced considering how bright it is, 4400 lumens claimed. Epson makes two less expensive models in the series, the HC1040 and the 720p resolution HC740 at $799 and $599 respectively should the HC1440 be out of your price range. Both of those others are really still very bright at 3,000 lumens each. While traditional projectors designed for a proper home theater, aka cave, with full light control have long dominated the home, bright room projectors are bringing projectors into more traditional living spaces. Living rooms, family rooms, dens, spare bedrooms, basically whatever you got. In a traditional home theater, all you need is about 450 or 500 lumens to fill a 100-inch diagonal screen. Home theater projectors have always been about offering the same type of dark room experience on the big screen as one gets at the local Cineplex. Bright room projectors, of which the Home Cinema 1440 is a great example, however, are far brighter projectors which can be paired with the right type of screen to offer the large screen experience in those less than ideal rooms. A good bright room home projector, at least for these early generations, more closely resembles a business class projector than a dedicated home theater one. I say that because their primary focus is on brightness, with the feature sets of these projectors often not offering some of the otherwise common home theater projector features. If not for 3D, which needs about three times the brightness, most home theater projectors today would still offer 1,000 lumens or less. Compare that to the claimed 4,400 wall-melting color and white lumens that the HC1440 boasts. Yes, what you have here is a projector that has over eight times the brightness needed to properly light up a 100-inch screen in a dedicated home theater. 4,400 lumens is the biz in the business world is likely to be filling a 10 to 20 foot wide screen in an auditorium or a hotel double ballroom. In other words, it's enough lumens to deal with a fair amount of ambient light. Let's turn now to the home cinema 1440 itself. As I started saying, it claims 4,400 lumens. Well, it turns out when we measured it, it easily beat its claims, pushing higher than 4,700 lumens at maximum. Of course, with any projector, or for that matter, LCD TV, the very brightest mode doesn't have the best color. No worries, as the HC1440 still manages over 3,600 lumens in its best picture modes. That will still dazzle you in terms of brightness on a typical 100-inch screen, and it's going to be brighter than the average LCD TV. Wow. Now, I'm no stranger to trying to use a projector in a bright room. I've got a living room that has so much glass and west-facing views uh, complete on a bright day with the sun pouring in and the sun also reflecting off the ocean, the back deck, and the light travertine floors. The projector I'm currently using there is another similarly bright but older commercial Epson, the G6550. We did a video on it. You should check it out. It demonstrates the performance during different lighting from fully sunlit room to night viewing with lights on. Okay, that'll give you a good idea of the HC1440's abilities since the two projectors measured barely 5% apart in brightness. Meantime, you can see here images shot in my same living room with the 1440 on a sunny day. No problem at all. If the HC1440 was shipped about two years ago when I got the G6550, I wouldn't have gotten the G6550. It's one-third the price and would have certainly worked for me. I could have easily gone with it or the $800 more expensive Pro Cinema 1985 that is similarly bright but with a couple of extra features. Darn. That makes me wonder why people are spending thousands on a 71-inch LCD TV and many thousands more on an 80-inch when you can own a home cinema 1440 and have a bright image on a 90, 100, 110-inch or larger screen for a whole lot less money, even matching it with the right type of screen, which is very important. In a bright room, you want an ALR screen, ambient light rejecting, or is that ambient light reducing? This is a relatively new class of light-absorbing screens that are finally becoming affordable and now start from under $1,000. Brands offering ALR screens include Elite, Daylight, Screen Innovations, Seymour, ViewTech, and others. 
The Home Cinema 1440 is all about bright rooms. Uh, for the most part, it's just too bright for a dedicated home theater and doesn't have the optimum feature set. In that, I mean that it has the basic black level performance. Should you care? Well, perhaps a little. If you're watching at night with all the lights off, it will be very bright for that. Uh, if you have even a little ambient light present, which is to be expected, then the difference between a projector with great black level performance on dark scenes and one with 1440s quality black levels are mostly negated by just that little bit of ambient light. Truth is, if you want really impressive black level performance, you aren't going to find it in a mid $1,000 price range projector anyway, uh, not even if they're only 1,000 or 1,500 lumens. Serious home theater projectors really start at over $2,000. It's this simple. If you are a hardcore movie aficionado demanding a perfect image, you don't want to be watching an LCD projector in a moderately bright room. But for those of you looking for the big screen experience, getting immersed in the content, the HC 1440 is just what is called for in those less than ideal rooms. Black levels are acceptable for non-critical movie viewing and more than fine enough for sports and most HD TV. Remember that the average LCD TV uh, isn't great at black levels either. Now let's talk about color. Here the Epson truly impresses with some great color and excellent skin tones right out of the box. Okay, if you feel the burning need, the HC 1440 has all the controls for full calibration, but the color in cinema mode, for example, should easily rival or exceed the accuracy you'd find in just about any LCD TV. Bright cinema mode, which is brighter still, has rather impressive and pretty accurate color, but is a bit less natural. It's geared for more pop. That's just fine. You'll want bright cinema when you're facing more than just a little ambient light. That extra pop helps deal with that ambient light. Dynamic, of course, is the least best on color, but it is the brightest. Still not bad, and in a pinch, uh, all you'll need for viewing your favorite sports team or sitcom or Saturday Night Live replay on a bright day. Game is the fourth mode. It tends to be a touch more punchy than cinema, but overall, not that different. It can work well for some video or photos, as well as gaming. Bottom line on color, you can fully calibrate the HC 1440, but I don't expect anyone will find the need to. Since the color in best mode cinema is very close to ideal, it's going to be just great in the kind of room you'll be using the 1440 in. Okay, it's time for our tour of the HC 1440 hardware, so I'll see you again after this video clip. Greetings, it's time for our tour of Epson's Home Cinema 1440 Bright Room Projector. As usual, our two minute tour will start in the front. First thing you'll notice is the lens is recessed and hiding behind this door, which doubles as an AV mute when the projector is on. You'll find the exhaust over there, and we have a single drop down uh, foot in the front with a button, and that uh, matches up with two screw thread controlled rear feet. The only other thing you find up front here is the infrared sensor for the remote control. Okay, now we'll spin around. And right here you can see where the filter goes, but this door also opens up and you can drop in the optional wireless module. Most of the action you'll find is on the back. Let's take a look at those inputs. First of all, starting at the far left here, we have a local area network input, just in case you're doing home automation, it is Crestron RoomView compatible. There's a pair of USBs, one of which can be used for display USB to hook up to most computers these days. And then right next to that is the first of two computer inputs, another one down there. You'll also notice that there's a lot of audio inputs everywhere here and a stereo audio output as well to power a larger sound system. Standard composite video is located right here. And here are your two HDMIs. Uh, the first one supports MHL for streaming capabilities. That pretty much covers it, except down in the lower left is an RS-232 for old school command and control. Then you've got the uh, power receptacle, a Kensington lock, and you can see this door here, which hides the lamp, which you probably won't need to replace for four or five or more years. Let's take a look at the top. We'll start with the lens controls. You can see recessed up here is the outer focus ring and a little closer to the back is the zoom lens control. Remember, this is a 1.65 to one zoom offering great placement flexibility. Set up as a snap, you'll notice that there's a screen fit control and a focus help control to make life really easy. This little guy over here on the right is a light sensor allowing you to set up this projector to actually adjust its brightness depending on how bright the room uh, you're using is. That brings us to the main control panel located right here. Let's do it from the left. We have the power off and on. Press once for on, twice for off. 
source search. You can manually or let it automatically go through all your inputs until it comes to the one you want. Menu, of course, the four arrow keys and a diamond configuration, the escape key up to the right, which will take you back a level in those menus, and the all-important enter key in the middle. Notice that those buttons take on separate roles when you're not in the menus. Horizontal and vertical lens shift are controlled by the top and bottom, and the volume for the 16-watt speaker takes care of the left and right controls. The only other thing left is this little button labeled help, which actually brings up interactive help. A very nice touch. All that's left to talk about are the four indicator lights over here on the right, power, a standard status light, a lamp indicator, and a temperature indicator. And again, you can see the top of the door for the long life lamp. That completes our tour of Epson's 1440 Home Cinema. Welcome back. As long as we just finished talking hardware, I should mention Epson's excellent warranty. You'll be getting two years parts and labor, which is longer than most competitors, although there are a couple of three-year warranties out there, but most only have a one-year warranty. With the Epson, it gets even better. The HC 1440 comes with a matching two years of Epson Extra Care Rapid Replacement Program. If your projector has a warranty issue, and this is the US only, by the way, during the two years, you call Epson's direct line and they will ship you a replacement, which will normally arrive in two business days. No shipping charges or there's no waiting a week or two or more for a repair. Nice. Now, no projector is perfect and all projectors, of course, are compromised to some degree, especially those under $2,500. So let's mention briefly what the HC 1440 cannot do for you. Two features of note are missing. One is 3D. Now, I'm a big fan of 3D, but I realize most folks just don't care. You need a big screen to appreciate the immersion that 3D brings to the party. That's why 3D is very successful in movie theaters and in projector-based home theaters, but a total flop with LCD TVs. Sadly, the 1440 lacks 3D, but fear not, if 3D is for you, Epson has plenty of projectors, if not as bright, with 3D support. The other missing feature is CFI, that's Creative Frame Interpolation, otherwise known as Smooth Motion, which adds additional frames to smooth out the motion. This is a good feature primarily for sports viewing and one best avoided for movies because it changes the director's intent in terms of the imagery. But as I like to say over and over in reviews, it's a nice feature to have, but not a critical one. I wanted to mention audio as related to streaming. As I pointed out in the hardware tour, the 1440 supports MHL and with that the plug-in streaming sticks such as those from Roku, Amazon, and Google. With the streaming stick, the audio comes out of the projector speaker. If you want better sound, there's an audio output so that you can feed that bigger system or even a nicer boom box. Naturally, the onboard speaker for a small box is acceptable for a movie night in the backyard, but it's not exactly a $1,000 or $5,000 a home sound system. The bottom line on the HC 1440, bright, great color right out of the box in cinema mode, and still dazzling color in bright cinema mode for dealing with lots of ambient light. The feature set is solid. If you can live without 3D, as almost everybody tells me they can, it's great. Warranty and support are pretty much unbeatable. When all is considered, here's a projector you can pair with an ALR type screen for bright room use and spend around $2,500 to $3,000, which can offer you an image that's twice the size of an 80 inch LCD TV while spending $1,000 or even $2,000 less. Why would you want to watch a sporting event, Game of Thrones, or a movie on those tiny little LCD TVs when you can enjoy it far more viewing at 100 or 120 inch size? Epson's HC 1440 is perhaps the best value in Epson's Bright Room series of projectors and it opens up the world of big screen immersion to folks without dedicated theaters. Go for it. I'm Art Fireman and this is one projector I regularly recommend. Mm -hmm.